Good day everyone and welcome back to our virtual classroom. For our Max Easy episode for today, we will be learning remainder and factor theorems. So let's get started. Our topic for our Max Easy episode will be about a factor and remainder theorem. Now, when you are dividing or using to divide whole numbers to find a remainder, for example, we have 7 divided by 3. Our 7 here is what we call our dividend. And our 3 is what we call our divisor. The answer, the whole number that we get when we divide 7 by 3, is what we call a quotient. And this, which is our remainder. That means that we get a remainder when a number is not divisible by your divisor. So for the case of 7 divided by 3, you only have two 3's in 7. And you will have 1 that is your remainder. So you have to present it as 1 divided by 3 or 1 over 3. Now, it's actually possible as well to do it when dividing polynomials too. For example, x squared divided by x minus 1. So when you divide x squared by x minus 1, you will get x, which will be your quotient, and plus x over x minus 1 will be your remainder. So here, if we are trying to work out the remainder when we divide a polynomial, we will have f of x, which is our function or our expression, divided by x minus a. You will get a q, which is your quotient, plus r, which is your remainder, over x minus a. Here, our a is a number. Q can be an expression or a term, and you have an R, which can be a number or an expression over X minus A, which is our divisor. Now, if we have this, then we will have the two theorem. For a polynomial, the remainder when F of X is divided by X minus A will be F of A. However, if we have the factor theorem, if f of a is equal to 0, then the remainder is a 0. Thus, x minus a is a factor of f of x. So we have, again, a remainder. So if you have f of x and you will have a remainder, that means that it is, um, the remainder is when you divide f of x by x minus a, and you will have your f of a. So if it is equal to 0, then that means that it is a factor, or one of the factors of your f of x or your function. So let's go straight to examples. What is the remainder of x squared minus 3x plus 2 when it is divided by x minus 2? So how do we do it? First, that's x minus 2, hence you'll have x equals to 2. So that means your f, your x, you substitute it with 2. So that's x squared, so you'll have 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2. So you'll have 4 minus 6 plus 2, that is a 0. Since there's no remainder, hence we can say that x minus 2 is a factor of x squared minus 3x plus 2. Let's take a look for the uh, other examples. Let's say what is the remainder when x cubed plus 2x is divided by x plus 3. So you have x plus 3, hence x is negative 3 because you have to transfer that to the other side. That's plus 3. So when you transfer it to the other side, it becomes ne negative 3. And then you will have f negative 3, substitute negative 3 
cube plus 2 times negative 3, you will have negative 3 cubed, you'll get negative 27, and then you will have your uh, 2 times 3, you have negative 6, so you'll have um, negative 33. Hence, the remainder, when x cubed plus 2x is divided by x plus 3, will be negative 33. Now, let's try another example. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. So since this is showing, that means that we are sure that x minus 2 is a factor. We only need to show that it is a factor using factor theorem. So we will need to substitute f. 2 because it's a minus 2 so you'll use the the opposite sign which is positive 2 equals 2 cubed plus 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 4 so this will be 8 plus 4 minus 8 minus 4 so 8 plus 4 minus 8 minus 4 is equal to 0 therefore x minus 2 is one of the factor now let's look into another example. Find the remainder when x minus x squared minus 5x plus 3 is divided by x plus 1. So you are asked that there is indeed a remainder, but you have to solve it. So we use the remainder theorem. f, that's a plus 1, therefore that will be minus 1 equals minus 1 squared minus 5 times minus 1 plus 3. Negative 1 or minus 1 squared will be 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 becomes positive 5 plus 3. So that will be 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. Therefore, the remainder when x squared minus 5x plus 3 is divided by x plus 1 is 9. I hope that you have learned something new today and I hope that you have understood how to identify a remainder or if of a term is a factor using factor theorem and remainder theorem. Thank you and see you next time. I hope that you have learned something new today and if you're new to my class, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest and learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths EC series. Bye!